Now what I want to do is go and use the templates that I've created and apply them to the root. So go back to the root working model and here you see the contours and the center line for the root. Go into Modeler and use Roadway Designer. Start a new root and I'm going to call it Example Root 1 and associate with that root the relevant horizontal and vertical alignments. And that has set up a root ready for templates to be applied to it. Now what I want to do is start applying my templates. Let's look at this root in a little bit more detail. Here you can see the cut and fill line. Now applying the first template, use the cut and fill template, start at zero and apply that. As I scroll through the root, you can see the effect of the cut and fill template being applied to each of the cross sections. The cutting here is getting a bit too deep, so from this point onwards, 640, I want to apply the tunnel template. I set the end point of my cut and fill template to 639, and then from 640, I apply my tunnel template. And that tunnel will continue through to 899. And then I change back to cut and fill. And then repeat this process for cut and fill, tunnels and viaducts throughout the whole route. The next step is to convert the assigned templates into a surface model. So using create surface and apply this is now creating a surface model and the parametric components that make up that surface for the tunnels, viaducts and earthworks embankments and cuttings. And here is a list of the calculations that have been performed showing that the cross sections have been calculated correctly. Then save the template assignments and close. Let's just look through the alignment that we've created and the effect of the earthworks now. So starting from the existing station, we go into a short tunnel here behind the town, carries on with normal earthworks through here, nothing excessive. We arrive in a short tunnel here. It might be possible to realign the alignment here to perhaps push it over here to avoid the need for that tunnel by introducing a curve at this point going more in that direction. Quite heavy earthworks here where it's side long ground causes difficulty on this side perhaps start considering either retaining walls or moving slightly out of this slope. Into tunnel through this section now here clearly by realigning through this area here it would be possible to avoid that tunnel altogether keeping close into the hillside but it would necessitate a slightly longer viaduct here and again moving out of the hillside a little bit here again could probably avoid most of this excess cutting in the side long ground. This tunnel here could be easily avoided by moving the alignment again very slightly out and perhaps extending that viaduct to around here. long viaduct through here it may be more convenient to realign that so that it touches the ground around this area to facilitate construction coming up through the long tunnel through the hillside and then we get into some difficult areas here with very side long ground in this particular example it probably will be good to move away from the hillside to avoid this excessive long cut here perhaps necessitating a short length of viaduct through here and it should also be possible to avoid that area of cutting there as well. So already we have a number of suggestions for how to enhance that alignment and refine it even further to get a more economical design. Finally to check my design I want to use the drive roadway facility inside Bentley Railtrack. 
I want to set the eye point 6 meters above the center line, drive through at 80 kilometers per hour, and display at the rate of one frame per second. And here you can see the new route going through the first tunnel, pass a cutting, second tunnel coming up, third tunnel, out onto a viaduct, through the next cutting, and so on and so forth. And that completes the modelling of the Earthworks tunnels and viaducts for my new route.